YouTube fans. This is Monique with Little Gems Creations 1. Today we are going to make paper beads my way. We're going to try three different techniques so you can see how I do it. We're going to do with a toothpick, with um, uh, this is a paper technique I want to say Dahlia paper. It's um, it's it's a tool that I use for um, making paper beads. Um, and I got a package on eBay, and I don't think it cost me very much at all. And I got all these tools. So if you break one, you got a spare. And then this is something I got for Christmas. This is a bead making tool that you put on an old water bottle or whatever and then as you make the beads you pop them down this little slot and they go into the bottle until you're ready to treat them with your decoupage and varnish and diamond glaze stuff so you need one or all of these tools, as easy as a simple toothpick, one of the tools, or the little machine with the crank. Then I like, I use recycled paper, magazine paper that I've cut into strips. I use um, scrapbooking paper that I've cut into strips. Now this one, I did a half inch at the top and it tapers all the way down to a point. This one I did a half inch at the top and it's half inch at the bottom so that'll make a tube. This one is a quarter inch at the top and it goes all the way down to points which will make a nice tight little bead and then this one I did half inch at the top and again it comes down to a point as well. And you'll see my points and my tops are not perfect, but they get the job done. Then you need your glue. This is just some school glue that I have. And there we go. We're ready to get started. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to tell you is that I like having my paper beads being made with nice decorative scrapbooking paper on the top. At the same time, I like to have the ability to recycle old magazines and newspapers. So, in order to have the best of both worlds, I take one piece of recycled magazine paper and I take one piece of my pretty scrapbooking paper and I use those to make my bead. So I always put the scrapbooking paper on the outside and then I put my magazine paper on the inside. So I'm just going to open my glue and make sure we're good to go, okay. Now with the toothpick method, you're going to take your paper and you're going to curl it on your toothpick. And the way I do this is I give it a couple of goes, okay, on the toothpick until it starts to get curly. And then I wrap it until it wants to stay put in one spot and then I start very carefully wrapping, rolling the bead. So see here my magazine paper is on the inside of my scrapbooking paper and so I'm getting the pretty pattern from the scrapbooking paper on the outside and yet I'm making it thicker by having the magazine paper on the inside. And we do it until we get a nice rolled bead. OK. 
Okay, and just before you get to the end, you take your glue, you put a dab of glue, and then I just use my finger to roll up that last little bit. And there we go. We've got our first bead. I also use my finger to get that glue on both sides of the bead, like so. And there's our first bead. So I just, when it's on a toothpick, you can just put it aside like that. Uh, here, we'll just put it aside on the, and that was our first bead. And that was made with the quarter inch paper that tapers down to nothing. And see, that gets you quite a nice little bead. Nice spacer bead. Okay, so now we're going to do one with the purple. See this nice purple scrapbooking paper? We're going to take one of those. And we're going to take one of these. This looks like it was an old receipt. I'm going to use that on the inside. And all I did was cut it the same. Now I'm going to put it with my scrapbooking paper on the outside. Now with the tool, the tool has a very tiny little uh, slot that you can put your paper into. This what is what makes these easier. But I'm going to show you something at the end, which is why I don't like these so, so much. So again, we're going to roll it. See how we're getting a nice roll there? Roll, roll, roll. Okay, and we want to keep it so that it's rolling in the center. So if we have to manipulate it a bit, then go right ahead and do that so that you have the same amount on both sides as far as the tapering goes. Okay, and then my magazine paper was shorter, or actually it was my receipt paper was shorter. So that's okay, it's hidden up in there. I put a dab of glue. And now I just finish rolling that up. And I go over it a few times and spread that glue around. Now, I don't know if you can see this very well. Maybe better from this side. If you look right in there, there is a slip of paper. So what I do is I move that paper out of the way by putting the bead on a toothpick. And that makes the, the paper fold either one way or the other. But then it's out of the way and you have a nice hole. See? See the hole now? So there we go. And then I leave it on the toothpick so that that hole can really get established. So that's the second way of making paper beads. And that was with the tool. And it's for, um, it's used for a paper, quilling! That's what it's used for, quilling. You get these, their quilling set. And like I said, you get tons in a package on eBay anyway. So that's it for part one of my video. Um, don't forget to hit that like, the subscribe button, and don't forget to share. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for part two.